Exactly. You know, hey, I'm not ashamed of it. And, you know, and it was so funny. Uh, one of the companies I was at a contract with, um, when he found out I was going out to the ranch, he said, oh, we'll never hire you again, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then guess what? A year later, they give me a call to Sunset. We want to put you back under contract. And as soon as I signed the contract, I just looked by that. I'm like, I thought you said you'd never hire me again because I work at a brothel. <laughs> <laughs> she broke the barrier. She broke the barrier, that's for sure. And, and like you said, and, and she said that a lot of girls do work on the side. That's no great secret. Sunset just does it legally and safely and avails herself to all of those uh, legions of fans. Uh, and uh, so she's out at the chicken ranch for, what, two weeks? Every month for the next three months. Yeah, I'm gonna be a busy little girl. I'm gonna have to ice it down. That, 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 that sounds like you're a busy little girl. See, see, my thing is, I have no issue with, with people paying for sex at all. If, if, if I have friends that do it, I don't see it as an issue as long as it's regulated, you know. But my thing is, and tell me if I'm weird for this, because I'm, I'm a quirky kind of guy. To me, I could have the hottest girl in the world, but if I paid to have sex with her, it wouldn't turn me on because she wasn't attracted to me. Is it weird to think like that? Am I just not open-minded enough? Well, you know, you got to look at this way anyway. You're going to take a girl out, right? Oh, you're yeah. You're going to go feed her, get her some dinner. Maybe buy her some drinks, and then you end up maybe not even getting laid at all after spending all that money. But guess what? When you go out to the ranch, you're going to spend that money, and you're going to get laid. You know, I'm. You I'm have to wear a full crap. I'm liking. I'm liking what you're saying. I, I think I should fly out to the chicken ranch and do my show live. What do you think? <laughs> I would love that. Are you kidding? That would be awesome. I'll hook you up with one of my girlfriends. Hey, hey, listen, we if we get some kind of sponsor to sponsor me to fly out there. I'm on board. I'll do the show live from there. I'll do it for a whole week. I don't care. Hey, work on it, Rob, for real. That week, we can make that happen. That, that is a great, great idea. I, I would, listen, if, if we can, uh, and Sunset's got my number. If we can find a sponsor, I would definitely love to go out there for a week and do the show because I'm sure, just like Sunset, the girls would have a million stories, and that would be a first for the Rob Valiva show. We've done the AVN Awards. We've done strip clubs. We've never done a show live from a brothel. That would be awesome. Actually, we're writing it down right now. I'm giving myself a little note to remind. Oh, did you also know that when I was at the AVN, I actually wrote for Rob Malich again this year? No, I did not. I did not. I saw that. I saw that. You put it yeah, I think you put it on Twitter. I wrote for Rob Malich. So, so how, how was that experience? It was awesome. It was great. I like going around and be able to interview the girls. I was more like press that day instead of, you know, doing the signings, you know, and everything. The first day I was just press. And it was really neat, and the fans actually like it as well because they see me out there doing exactly what they do, you know, walking around interviewing girls and stuff like that. And I found it was kind of fun. It was very interesting. Well, I, tell me, if, and my, my buddy Ruggs is, is in the chat room now, and he's listening. He makes my shirts and my hoodies and everything. Tell me if this is weird. I bring him into the trade show, and instead of going to look at all the girls, he's going, oh, look, that's Tommy Gunn. That guy's a legend. I'm like, Ruggs, it's a little creepy that you know all the guy porn stars. It's a little weird. Well, you know, to each their own, you know, hey, you know. <laughs> so what, so... <laughs> For all the obvious reasons. Well, do, 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 do the can the guys the guys that are in it for a while can they make decent money doing that? Like I always wondered about that. Oh, yeah, it could be alright, you know. They don't get paid the girls yet. We get paid more. Well, we obviously, no one's tuning in and look at the guys. But you know, you're hey, even just talking about your uh, your friend that's on there right now and stuff too as well. You know, I have a lot of gay fans out there too that are actually in the adult business and they'll come up to me and. I mean, they're like huge fans, and they're going, oh, my God, since so if I ever want to go straight, you'd be the first one I'd want to have. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cool, you know? Dude, you, you got... Well, I, I don't think she's trying to uh, say that, that your hoodie maker is is, 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 is <laughs> question sexuality. So, <laughs> little level there, but... You know, you know people like Ron Jeremy who have, you know, just endured forever and, and make good, good money... I mean, a porn stud, uh, you know, can can work and work a lot because, let's face it, for every movie they make, you have to have the guys there too. So if they're if they have the qualities needed, they can work uh, frequently. But they don't get paid by the hour the way or by the scene as well as uh, the girls do. 
Yeah, I, I, I kind of, I kind of figured that. So I know you have, you know, obviously, you know, you, you got the reality show going, you got the boxing website you got going on. I know you write for Esquire magazine. You're at the Chicken Ranch. Any, anything, any other ventures? Because you sound like a very, oh, very busy yeah. lady. I, I got something I want to do. Uh, it's a breaking news. You're the first that's going to get this. Are you ready? For I'm, this? I'm ready. Breaking news here on the Rob Believer Show. Go ahead. I actually, you know, how to shot a movie in a couple of years, right? Okay. Yes. And I can't go into much details, but uh, I'm going to come. I'm coming out. I'm, I'm coming back. back. I'm coming back in the shoot. We're in negotiations for, for her comeback film. I can't give you any more details of that, but, and this is no joke, Rob, this is it. The news is breaking right now. She hasn't even tweeted this yet. Nobody knows. You are the first person to, 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 to air this. I haven't even tweeted or anything to my other So, so live here on the Rob Valivi Show on GSSRadio.com in Philly, Sunset Thomas has made it official. She's coming out of retirement. <laughs> well, well, two, yep. two, 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 two things to piggyback off that. The first thing is, what, tell me if you guys think this is a good idea, because as far as I know, this has never been done. I'm thinking about shooting a live porn scene live on the radio. What do you think? I'm <laughs> game. No, I think it's awesome. Why not? I, 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 no one's done it before, so I figured, what the hell? And since you're coming out of retirement, can I can I give you some uh, some some girls? I think you should work with. Can I give you some pointers? Sure. There, there's two you that. Well, there, there, there's two main ones, but I would say Brandy Love, who I just interviewed, she was just in Philly. She's awesome. But my two all-time crushes that I, I couldn't track down in Vegas and that I got to try to meet them and you guys need to work with them is Crystal Summers and Christy Mack. You need to do something with those two. Okay. All right. I, I think, I think okay. I, I'm think i telling you, you should call me for, for, uh, for feedback. I'm telling you, I could give you some great ideas. That's that's awesome. Or you know the other person you could work with. I don't know how well you know her. One of my personal friends and friends of the show, Nikki Hunter. She's always fun to be around. Nikki's always a blast. That could be someone oh, you could yeah. work with too. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. But you you guys, Ken, you're hilarious. I, you guys would be good having your own radio show. <laughs> we might just do that. <laughs> <laughs> we're, just, we're just so busy with so many things that's going on right now. Well, you know, I, I do too. Uh, you can go to sunsetthomasartgallery.com. Actually, I got a lot of artsy pictures in there. Okay. Something cool, something different. You know, the fans haven't really seen me, but it's very artsy, and I actually shot it right there at my house. You, I might uh, put it in the art gallery soon. I'm you, working on that. You're you're very and you're then, uh, you're multi talented in more ways than one. I, I'm always into something, and I actually um, I found in a book. It's called Precious, which is by Jane Hilton, and what she did was just go out to all the different types of brothels here everywhere and shot all the girls but did it very artsy kind of way with the girls interviewed them they were all nude it was very painful she even hit the, the little rural brothels brought that have like three girls the shack and uh and it's going to open the book will be out in a few months in june i believe it is it's coffee table book and it's going to when it when it drops it's going to open with an art exhibit in London and then an art exhibit in New York City, which we will probably be at. So I know that's not a far trip for you. See, see, why has it got to be New York? It's always New York. Why can't it be Philly? Everyone's like, oh, well, if I'm going to come to the East Coast, i got to go to New York. Why can't it be Philly? That always ticks me off. You guys always come and go to New York. Hey, listen, my, our city our city is so much better than New York, it's not even funny. There's better restaurants, there's better bars, it's easier to get around. New York is just so goddamn crowded, and it pisses me off when everyone comes to the East Coast and they go to New York and they don't go to Philly. That is so cool. I love it. We were there, uh, and we went to, uh, to Philly Beach, Yeah, Gino's, because we went over there and got a sandwich there. It was awful good sandwich. Well, there. see, see, that's the thing. And I, yeah, I, up on the walk. I tell all the girls this. Gino's and Pat's is a tourist trap. There's like 27 other places you could go to. You would have a better cheesesteak. That's what the locals tell us. Now I need to see them, Rob, because we need to know the right bar to go to. We like the dive bar. We like neighborhood bar. 
tours, and we like a, a good cheesecake uh, steak and not a uh, not a not not the tourist trap. Well, you know what I would love if you guys ever come out to Philly. Hopefully, we can hang out. But I, I would love to bring you guys out to my local bar, which is in the suburbs of Philly, and have that almost famous moment when I walk into the bar and I got Sunset Thomas with me. That that would be fun. I love being here in Vegas. But everyone wants to always go out to the fancy bars and this and that. I like the hole in the walls. Those are my favorite to hang out at. And and where can everyone find you on Twitter if they want to tweet you? At Sunset Thomas. <laughs> I, I love how I love how Ken just slides right in there. He's like, I got it covered. He's like, you don't got to worry. I got it covered. I, I was opening my mouth and like, ah. <laughs> Is there anything else you guys uh, want? Am, am I missing anything? Is there anything else you guys want to plug? I hope I covered everything. I think, yeah, we did. We covered everything. And you, you got the news first before he won. Sun, uh, sunsets come out of So we learned sunsets come out of retirement. Sunset, you got to shoot me info so I can send you your custom Rob Believer Show t shirt with your name on it. So I got to send that out to you. And also. Well, gotta, at, and. Awesome. And also, you know, if you guys want me to come to the Chicken Ranch, I would love to go there for a week and do the show. If we can make this happen, that'll be a first here on GasHouseRadio.com, the Rob Valiva Show, live from the Chicken Ranch in Las Ve- in Nevada. I'm in. I will definitely, I'll, I'll definitely put that uh, that link out on our website, guys. You were awesome. I'm glad you took the time time to come come in. I'm honored that you wanted to call into my show and keep you know keep tuning in and, and and being friends with the show and anything we can do together. I'm on board. And if you come to Philly, I better get a phone call. All right, you got it. Thank you, baby. All right, Enjoy sunset. You. I'll see you. I'll see you, Ken. Later. Right, bye. There you go. The legendary Sunset Thomas and her partner Ken calling in. They were awesome. They were just really really cool.